My name is Guido Ponzini and I am extremely happy to introduce you to my course Houdini FX in a real engine. Throughout this course, we will explore the key techniques uh, that I use to create Sequenza, a CG sequence designed for virtual production installation with this particular course in mind. In our first session, we will cover the main techniques uh, used to model a location inspired by a real world place, the Maxi Museum in Rome. We will go over the basics of modeling techniques, Uh, procedural UV mapping and importing your meshes into Unreal. Once inside Unreal, we will discuss uh, how to organize your project in folders, uh, how to work with uh, a main sequence and subsequences, and uh, uh, understand how Unreal and Udini systems work together and also how they differ. We will also see how to apply Megascans materials, create uh, an HDRI-based lighting for the interior, how to set up your lighting and post-processing, and prepare your render in ACES color space, just ready to export in AXR sequence that you will be able to import in your DaVinci Resolve session. We will then explore how I transformed a shark model into a procedural robot and how I textured it inside Substance Painter. Finally, we will create a simple rig in KineFX and in this way we will learn how this kind of rig can be used to transfer many things, uh, also meshes, uh, to Unreal. During the second session, we will discuss how to approach clothes and soft body within Vellum. We will animate the earth beating and make the clothes dance, as well as explore techniques for transferring those soft body simulations to a real-time context, using soft body vertex animation texture, for example, uh, DEM Labs uh, Converter and the Side Effects Labs Skinning Converter tool. We will also cover rigid bodies and how those can be transferred using RBD vertex animation textures. Finally, we will explore two different approaches to metal bending. One more traditional using RBD constraints and another one uh, using volume with proxy meshes. By the end of this session, you will be able to add fine details and dynamics to your Unreal scene with a good understanding of many VFX techniques for real time. During the third and final session, we will dive into Niagara, the powerful tool of Unreal Engine for particles. We will compare it to a traditional Houdini pop network, we will learn how to debug the system and we will start creating some everyday usage examples like uh, snapping elements over a sign distance field and creating smoke and fire particle system, start Starting from a pyro simulation, using both the side effects labs flipbook node and a custom OpenGL workflow. We will also examine what I call the Pinky Walker, a Niagara system that I created using ribbons entirely inside Unreal. Covering these topics will help us to understand more about materials uh, for real-time effects and also how to set up, uh, for example, vertex animation texture in order to support uh, Niagara instancing. By the end of this session, you will be able to add some nice details and particle system and you will wrap up your final project in Unreal. I hope you join me in this journey with Houdini and Unreal Engine.